So in this video I'm going to be doing my first ever Halloween nail set and the way there's like only three weeks left till Halloween I'm really upset because I have so many ideas. I've never done one before and I feel like the execution for my first one was pretty good but I'm going to be using the lazy girl method for this because I did way too much freehanding and I don't do freehanding because it takes too long so I thought let me cut some corners and do the lazy girl method. So I'm using my go-to poly gel which is the Model 1's uh, light apricot colour. It's like the best colour for me for French. And I'm just doing the same old, same old. <laughs> Putting the poly gel into the nail tip and then smoothing it down. So this video is going to be a couple minutes longer than I usually put out. But you better watch all of it. <laughs> don't leave. Watch every single minute of this. Um, If you don't want to see like the laser girl method application you can skip to... I'm gonna have to insert it because I don't know what it is right now but you can skip to that part and watch that part because that's what made this video a little bit lengthy because I had to draw some stuff and I also don't freehand because I can't draw <laughs> and sometimes it's evident like when I go to do like the freehanding in some of my videos you can see like oh she can't draw a lot of it too is because like I don't have a steady hand so that's what messes with me a lot but back to the design at hand so I've been seeing these bloody nails everywhere so i knew i had to try it um i also wanted to do scream nails so i was like okay in scream they were stabbing people up so it's only right that I, I mixed the two and i'm glad i did like i ain't that creative but i feel like i was creative in this sense but even thinking about it actually when i posted this on tiktok i was looking at other people's and of course somebody has like a similar design it's like you think of something and then you come to find out that someone else has done it but anyways speaking of scream my first question this video is what is your favorite scary movie mine is insidious because <laughs> this movie really really rocked my soul i don't know what it is about the movie i think it's the fact that spoiler alert it's about um astral projection and that's like very real <laughs> i don't know if anyone's seen the movie if you've seen it like leave a comment because that movie is messed up it's like again spoiler alert it's basically this kid he falls into a coma because he like fell off a ladder <laughs> the beginning of it is so dumb like the way he fell into the coma he like falls off a ladder trying to like grab some toy or something and he just like falls into this coma and um there's like a devil that's trying to take over his body and in him doing so he's just got all these paranormal beings just all up in this kid's body and it's just i'm laughing now because <laughs> i'm by myself when i watched that movie i went to go watch it in the cinema with like literally 15 people and we all walk, walked home in the dark <laughs> that movie really just got me like it really got me i slept with the light on for like two weeks <laughs> it was too much but if you haven't seen it i recommend to watch it it's the first one by the way there's like five after and they're not that good but anyways that's my review on that movie back to the nails so when i was applying the nails i was having such a tough time some were popping off some were lifting whilst being cured i think my lamp is dying so i need another one but I was having issues where I can put these on in like 15 minutes it took me an hour one actually eventually popped off when I was freehanding and <laughs> I want this to be a challenge let me know if you can figure out which one popped off I was going to include the footage but I was like no this is way too embarrassing <laughs> but let me know if you can tell which one popped off but long story short the whole reason why I was painting that nude was because I had bubbles from where it was lifting so i needed to cover that up so for the french part what i did was i did the tiktok french hack because i was too lazy to draw so what i did is i marked where i wanted the french to go so that they'd be the same length and then i painted the back of the cutter tool and then just used that as a guide for where i want the french i mean smile line and then once it made that outline all i had to do was just fill it in with the polish the actual hack you're supposed to like slide away and then it paints the whole thing in that video i like got the hang of it at the very end and i just didn't feel like relearning that for this video you also have to use like the right size of the cutter otherwise you won't get like the the swoop where it all comes away with the polish on there and i just was so lazy that day well it's not that i was lazy it was mostly because i was under like a time constraint constraint well constraint 
and I had to like leave the room so I didn't get to just you know sit back relax and just do my nails for like five hours straight I had to hurry the hell up also if you're not subscribed and you like what's going on here you like the chat you like the nail set then that can only mean that you should subscribe but anyways whilst using this tool it was not ringing in my head that the last time i used it there was a reflection so i probably should have been looking somewhat better than <laughs> what you guys can see right now so if you're just seeing a hot mess mind your business <laughs> because i was like oh this is devastating like i realized whilst editing the footage that oh here i am looking like that but it's okay we all have those days and i think i have those days like seven days out of the week <laughs> also if you see like my mouth moving and stuff i was on the phone to my little brother so i promise you i wasn't talking to myself <laughs> me laughing like that it just looks like i was but no i promise he can vouch for me in the comments and he probably won't but i was talking to him So this is the finished result, not bad, not bad. That hack is pretty sick, even if it doesn't fully work the way it should. But then I realized that my pointer finger was not supposed to be French. It's supposed to be painted all black because that's where I was gonna put the face. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then off camera, I did an additional um, coat of the black because as you can see, it's somewhat see-through. Well, not see-through, but it's like sheer then it was time for the blood um so i put a bit too much i don't know why i just was heavy on the polish i really didn't need that much but one thing i did off camera which i don't know why i couldn't find the footage but i know i did it off camera because i couldn't find it is i put like the tiniest speck of black because the red was too red it wasn't giving blood blood red so i just added a little bit of black and mixed it around to get like a darker realistic shade of blood even though looking at it now that's not i don't know what do you guys think i'm gonna say it that's not even still the same color as blood but whatever you know what it is <laughs> so all i was just doing here was outlining around the black with the red so really quickly i did my thumb off camera because when doing this design i'd never done it before so i was trying to figure out what type of tool i wanted to use to create the blood dripping um so for the thumb i used a dotting tool and i wouldn't recommend because you can somewhat see it the lines aren't straight and when i was trying to trace the smile line it just looked a hot mess so i wouldn't recommend unless you are able to do it then totally do it also to add to my what's your favorite scary movie question it's not really a question i was just gonna ask if anyone knows any um scary series on netflix hulu etc please let me know because i need something like that to watch i just got done finished i just got done finished what <laughs> i just finished watching squid game and it's not scary but i need something to fill that void because that show was way too good like i don't want to spoil it because if you haven't watched it and you're thinking about watching it you need to watch this show spoiler free because i had seen a couple of spoilers before i watched it and i was salty it wasn't major ones though so i don't want to spoil it but i really want to talk about it but let me just start explaining what i'm doing here so what i was doing was i was using my long brush to create the line then at the end the drops i used the dotting tool I was searching high and low for my bigger dotting tool so I wouldn't have to create the circles but it just didn't want to be found that day so I used my small one to create tiny circles till I got the size droplet that I wanted. So I repeated the same steps for the next two fingers then I'll be back to show you how I did the screen face mask. So for the mask, I tried this off camera using the dotting tool and it did not work. It was just a hot mess. It was just not straight. It was just not good. And I should have known that. I eventually switched to the brush 
and whilst doing so I realized I wasn't recording but luckily I looked up and caught it in time because it would have been tragic had I done all of that and not recorded a single bit of it but luckily you get to see how I did it this was actually somewhat simple what I did was I had my phone next to me with a picture of the mask and I just was using that for reference So once I was done doing the outline, I tried to paint it with that thin brush and realized, okay, this is not gonna work. <laughs> so I switched to the regular polish brush. And it was kind of impossible, cause like, how do you get that to go on seamlessly? It was kind of awkward and it left streaks and lines. But after I drew on the other parts, you couldn't even tell. So this part, I thought I was gonna struggle, like drawing the feature part on. So the eyes, once I realized it's just two little jelly beans, <laughs> I was like, okay, this ain't that bad. But when it's just the eyes on there, I was kind of like, no, this does not look, <laughs> this is not looking how it's supposed to look. But once you draw the other parts on, it starts coming together and you're like, oh, I see it now. Next was the nose, which was so impossible because it's just the tiniest, tiniest detail. And I thought, I'm going to mess this up. But surprisingly, I didn't. And next was the mouth, which this one I kept messing up. And I kept everything in here <laughs> so you could see the struggle. So the issue was the dotting tool. I wanted to use a brush, but I didn't have any that was small enough. And because it's just such a small section, the dotting tool seemed to be the best thing for this but no the problem was every time i made my outline i just like kept shaking then i would have to try and straighten up that outline and then me doing that would widen the mouth like more and more and i just kept shaking and then having to fix that like i hope you can kind of see what i'm talking about if not just like go re-watch this section you'll see that i like shake <laughs> and then it just pushes the paint outside of the outline trying to explain this is so hard <laughs> but as you can see here i added some blood around the cuticle area i did it off camera because i was gonna wipe it off but then i was like i'm gonna keep this because this is a black and red design and the white and black on the screen now i just felt like it it matched but it wasn't matching so how could i make it match even more <laughs> so i added the blood and decided to keep it so now I'm just applying the top coat. Once I applied the top coat, it really came to life. Like what I was actually gonna do initially was gonna have the black parts of this nail set as matte, but then I was like, I want a shiny set. So I'm glad I kept it shiny. Now for the cuticle oil to bring this even more life. I was really pleased with this set. This being my first Halloween set, it was pretty good. I'm gonna try some others out. I'm thinking either Beetlejuice, Nightmare Before Christmas, or just like a basic Halloween set with like cobwebs and all that stuff. But let me know if you want me to try something that you have in mind, cause I'll do it. I have so many things in mind and just not enough time. But if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.